We've just picked up a free update for Valhalla, which is out right now. But if you're wondering what it's all about and if it's actually worth downloading and logging back in for, then don't worry, because in the next five minutes, I'm going to break down all the info in this update so you can kind of decide if it's worth your time or not. So let's get going. Now, first up, let's talk about download size. And it's a bit of a monster, to be honest. And according to Ubisoft's patch notes, you're kind of looking at 20 to 25 gigabytes for the Xbox One to Series X and S, four to six and a half gigabytes for PlayStation 4 to 5, and another big boy 20 gigabytes on the PC. And I still have absolutely no idea why it varies so much and your download size actually may differ if you haven't updated the game in a while by the way so just be aware of that as well. Now we actually pick up a few updates this week. First we have this Tomb of the Fallen quest line. That's out today and that's what we're going to be covering in this video but we also have the Wild Hunt or Oscaria Festival that's going to be available to play on Thursday and that's also included in this download but we just can't play it yet. But what is this Tomb of the Fallen stuff all about? Well you may have heard about the Odin illusionary runes over the last 12 months and they actually finally come into play here, but not all of them. There's a total of four hidden dungeons across England, which are located behind these Odin runes, and you don't need any prerequisites apart from actually unlocking Ravensthorpe settlement before you can actually give them a go. You can also directly visit each tomb if you know the location, because it doesn't really matter what order you do them in. There isn't this underlying story there. And we've also actually got two Odin runes left to explore, which have been excluded from this update. So it does look like they're going to be a part of a future update whenever that arrives. But when it actually comes to finding these tombs the game doesn't give you any sort of quest or point you in any direction you actually just need to know where these four tombs are and if you don't well you can't actually complete it and pick up the fallen hero armor set not a problem though i do have you covered i'm actually going to pop on all of the locations of each tomb on your screen right now so you can actually come back to this video if you do decide to give this update a go in fact when you actually get close to one odin rune or think you're in the right area if you call soon and you'll be able to actually see this mysterious blue vortex in the sky and when you actually approach it you have to get up real close to the rune itself to actually interact with it which then opens this underground tomb. Now I wouldn't necessarily say these tombs are a lead on from the mastery challenges as Hilderun isn't involved and they're actually very puzzle focused environmental dungeons which require you to actually figure out how to navigate through them with the incentive being that you're going to pick up some rewards at the end of each tomb. Now on top of the rewards each tomb also has a history of a specific Britain war chief that fought against the Romans during their occupation of Britain which is told through these visions. They provide you with context and history on what actually happened during their lives which I really appreciated and I'm not going to go ahead and play all of these encounters in the video but just know that if you actually like the historic aspect of Assassin's Creed this was a very welcome addition in this update in my opinion and I'd actually argue they were probably a little bit too short and I would love to have seen a little bit more I'd also would have liked to have seen a little bit more ESU involvement as we didn't directly pick up much info here but we can't have it all now in terms of time wise all four tombs took me around about two or so hours to complete and I'm not actually the best puzzle solver in the world but here's a bit of a time saving tip for you. You'll actually come across these orbs which you then need to place on pressure plates which are often needed to actually open the final tomb door and just so you know you can actually throw them to different levels around the tombs to actually get around and this actually took me way too long to figure out and actually everything becomes a lot easier after that. But after you progress through each environmental puzzle in each tomb and I've actually managed to get through the final big door containing each famous Britain you'll be able to collect pieces of this new armor set called the Fallen Hero. And to be fair, it's not a bad little set, this one, in terms of stats. You get a armor melee range damage increase when you equip it, and it drops this cool exploding pulse on the floor that provides you with an AoE explosion that knocks down enemies when in combat, and I really quite like that. Also, for those of you who love achievements and love trophy hunting, we pick up two new ones here in this update. First, we get the Spelunker achievement, where you'll need to complete just one tomb, and the second achievement being the Cryptologist, where you'll actually need to complete three tombs respectively. And I'm also not sure if it's a bug, but I haven't actually had my achievements pop yet, and that's on the PC so if yours did do let me know down below and by the way folks if you felt like you've got any sort of value from the video so far or you found this breakdown helpful in any sort of way a very swift like down below really does help me out so thank you very much now with this update we've also got a lot of bug changes and improvements surrounding performance and stability which is good news even though my screen kept tearing on the PC again which is a little bit annoying I'm not gonna lie and I have popped the patch notes down below so you can quickly check if there's one in particular that you're interested in but there is one highlight here and that is the missing vibration and haptic feedback on the PS5 that apparently has been resolved and also fish no longer teleport away randomly when you are fishing in game so that only took a year but it's finally been fixed <laughs> there we go and I also did briefly mention that the Oscaria and Wild Hunt Festival is arriving here on Thursday and that brings with it new content brand new rewards so I'll be whipping up a no nonsense update video just like this one on Thursday so if you have found this video helpful do click the notification bell so you get yourself back here easily so you can keep up to date with Valhalla and I think that'll do it for me on this one folks I hope the video helped and as usual 
Coffee's on me.